anything back here? No. All right, let's rest. I'll stay. Enjoy your stay. Apparently we absorbed Goombella. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Oh, there's gear. Not just items. There's items and then there's useful items. Does this game have gear like uh, RPG? Does anyone know? Where you equip like a weapon and an armor and stuff like that? Check the 11 a.m. place. Uh, I don't think there's... I mean, we can. I don't think there's like actual time in this game. I think it's probably just an event thing. I can't remember the last time Mario had an actual night-day cycle. If ever. It has accessories. That's your beef, pal. Yeah, I'm talking to you. God, Bump Centium just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. I won't go check, though. I mean, maybe. Don't think Nintendo uh, first party titles are exactly known for their open world quality. Or existence, period. All damage. Okay, well, should probably save. <laughs> hey, big old Ruben ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild and attack. Be careful. Live longer. That's Goomfree the Goomba. He looks like uh, kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer. You know, a guy that can make any problem just go away. Power up your partner and talk to me from the other side of the table. Yeah. That's Merlin. He's odd. Uh, he's, he's this odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. Perhaps uh, he helps power up your allies here. For three shine spirits, he raises a partner one rank. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I first saw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish with three shrine spirits. Shine spirits. I can power up your partners. Of course, that means a boost to their attack power, but also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? We don't have any shine spirits, chat. Return someday. Oh shit, Tally's here. Or uh, Josh rather. Tally was the other guy. Here you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah yes, you. Now you uh Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, mm, it's not Goombriel. Mm, it's not Eliza Goom. Mm, 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 mm. I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, junior at you Goom. Go Goombas. Jesus Christ. Of course, I remember you not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you're such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is? Who? Yeah, don't Goombas hate us? Mario, Professor. He's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I'm in a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? Probably you tell us about the legendary treasures that be below Rogueport. I thought anyone knew anything about it, it would be you, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here is to study the very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know most uh, that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have said to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. <laughs> and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to define the truth among them all, but uh, I'll agree to one point. To find the treasure, we must have the crystal stars. 
Crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I searched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of makes sense for that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance of the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday? Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be, and if we're in luck, it seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of puzzle, the magical map is lost. If only we had that map. If only. But we do have it, Professor. Oh, shit. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. Wow. Hummada, hubbity, hubbity, hippity, hoopity, hummala, huffala, hoofala. Really? You, you actually have it? Can I just take a quick look at it, if you, if you don't mind? Did you get robbed by the dude who bumped into you? I don't think so. Maybe. Astounding, this is it, the real thing, the one and only magical map. I mean, we have the one item that we have, which is the magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great. You're fantastic. Wonderful, even. With this map, we can locate the crystal star just by holding it up in front of the thousand-year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here, then? Goombella, Mario, let's take the magical map to the thousand-year door. Off then we go. This instant will lead the way to the sewer underneath the town. That guy's kind of cracked out, dude. I love how the door folds up. Opens, folds back down, even for the NPC. I bet you didn't know this rotten thing came off, did you? Hey, 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 hey. I can use this pipe to get down to the city streets. Come, both of you. Let's get moving. What's this guy doing? Whoa, 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 hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail. Ishnail. Uh, head of the Robos. It's 10 coins to pass through. Try to pass that pay, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you good. Final pay. I don't know, that guy looks kind of sketchy on the side. I could take you, I'm leaving. Let's fuck him up, dude. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your own words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. It's gonna be like level 10 or something. Go to the corner! Redantic, dude, thanks for the 57. How was Poland? It was great. Hope Paul is well. How was Poland? I posted, uh... Our, we did an IRL stream walking around Warsaw, so that's on our main YouTube if you want to see. Otherwise, you can go to yesterday's... Was it yesterday? No. Dude, I've lost track of the days. You can go to Monday's VOD, and uh, we talked all about the trip at the beginning. First death? Oh, oh maybe. Oh, she just passed out. How do I get her to tattle? Oh, there we go. First, I want the cursors inside the circle. Shit, he has 20 HP, dude. I hit for two. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attacks 3, defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. I'm sure, it's super obvious, but all that pointy spear hurts if you stomp on it. Oh no shit. So no jumping. Wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year talk about a workaholic. Oh, I guarded. He's still hit for two, though. Okay, so we got a hammer every time, then. Oh, it displays his health under. That's nice. Attack enemies with a head bonk. Press A just before hitting an enemy. Wait, did she get hit by a spear? Is that the only attack she has? She just said, don't attack him from the top, and then her attacks and attack from the top. Meaning she's useless. She's just, she, he didn't even take damage. She just has to sit here and defend. Defense will be boosted by one. It's a good thing we bought those healing mushrooms. I think we could take them. Mitigated the damage by one. She was defending on top of the guard. Alright, five more times, and we're good. She's 
she had five. It's fine. I mean, she could just heal herself up. How much did the mushroom heal for? Five? Oh, we'll just go to the inn after. And heal both of them instead of using the mushroom. Ah, oh, that hurt? You have no chance of beating me, trust me, so you better run. Yeah, if you don't seriously, I'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from the tactics, but sometimes it's best to run. Hell no, dude. Gotta hit you three more times, we're good. Uh, I mean, if it hits or we won't need to use a mushroom, just depends who he throws at. Yeah, we're okay. Because he can only hit for a max of two. Assuming I block properly. We're almost there. that too. It's over. It's fucking over, dude. Bitch. 22 star points. Blocky made it easier in the remake? Did that not exist in the original? I didn't play the original one of this. This guy meant to be super tough at the beginning. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Yeah, let's go rest at the end real quick. Yeah, it's just like the perfect garden stuff that they added to um, the Mario RPG remake. That certainly made it a little bit easier, too. If you were to hit it. You just say, holy shit? Yeah, it's crazy, man. These children games are out of control these days. Welcome. I'll stay. No, we're kind of broke. What the hell? Wait, why are we missing so much money? Did that guy actually rob us? Maybe he did. We had 100 to start. We only spent like 15 or so at the shop, and then now 10 to sleep. Where the hell did the rest of our gold go? Wait, I think that guy did rob us. What the hell? You guys are right. Find him somewhere. What are the star ranks for again? Star points? Oh, we're not gonna go up a level, right? Did you sleep before? Yeah, but we lost, like, sleeping gives you a bunch of health. I might have actually lost a bunch of points, it's true. It's in here. This is Zeke's Earth This is the turf of Ishnael and his crew of Robos. The east side is a rundown. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. That's Swindle, a bandit. At least I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. Bitch. Another guy who stole her money. <laughs> the Trouble Center is the only place on the East Isle that other town folks come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. That's Arthur. He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. I'm out of office. Please come again. That's a locked door. You can open it with a key. Ah, oh, I see. That yeah, we're stupid. Heavens if we... Okay. That was a very helpful chat. It's a chest down there, too. Wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action commands before you descend? They're the basics of battle. Nope. Already a master. Really? A master, are you? I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe. No, I'm good. Bold lad, aren't you? Refresh when your partner attacks. Match what's shown on the screen. When you guard and press A in time of the opponent's attack, you can remember that. You'll be fine. Right now, down we go. Just down to the pipe and press A to enter it. Alright. So you like flush down a toilet. Sleeping cost money, it did, but like we slept twice. Each was five. We bought 
two mushrooms, that FP thing. We spent $18 at the store and 10 on sleeping. That's 28. And we started with 100 gold. Now we have 34. So. Oh my god. He said no twice and still gave a tutorial. <laughs> Two seconds to send something to Ellen Tia. in this game. I still somehow managed to only get like 30 to 40 FPS. Looks like we can blow that up with a bomb or something later. And that, I assume that's what the crack means. They have some neat little uh, transition graphics in this, must say. Ah! Welcome, Mario. I'm Mer Lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing uh, abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Uh -huh. So, shall I see something for you? I'm good for now. Damn, 10 to fucking. Is that so? Well, if there's anything you want to ask, fine, just ask. That's the fortune teller, Mer Lovely. She's kind of mysterious as you'd expect. She divines the locations of the things where we should go. People say she's always right, and people say all kinds of secrets are hiding under her veil. So, well, uh, I guess the veil is working as intended. Okay. That's a wild graphic. That's neat. Neato gang. Super duper. That's why FPS is like 30. So those graphics are permanently loading in the background. Hey, hey, hey man, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way into our underground? Oh, shit. Typically, you surface snobs are stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. Oh, I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. Yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're going to teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world-famous hero wander the sewers of a poor town in peace? This is your usual greeting to visitors, and you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for a fight? You ain't looking to tussle? Then stay out of the sewers. Nobody, start, uh, nobody, doesn't, nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. Can't flee this fight. A Goomba, a Spiky Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is the fellow in the middle, the Spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? If we jump on that, and you're the one... Jump on that, and you're the one who will take damage. Okay. Paragoomba is airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Fight mechanics! You get what I'm saying? Study your opponents before you choose the attack method, and be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get him, tiger. What's the professor doing? Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You, could, you can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget about that. Just be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance. For good luck. Uh, okay. Then we'll hammer this guy. Why can I change who I hammer? Ah. Right, I can't change who I'm hammering. Can you only hammer the guy that's in front? One day I'll win. There you go. You guys traded blows. And the juices. Oh, there was some kind of combat tutorial. I can't change targets. She can't attack him, so we'll tattle. Wait, this one we can. Weird. It wouldn't let me uh, use the hammer on someone else. Ham yeah, hammer might be front only. Okay. That was 
Easy. Easy. Owie. Ooh, money. Ah, later, losers. That felt awesome. Ooh, my neck. You ready, Mario? Need, need me a massage, dude. There are plenty more where that came from, and I'll uh, have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while on the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter a battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. What was that? Perception of this game. You struck first. He's got a freebie attack altogether. Huh? Like perma jump on them, like you can in uh, RPG. You get like one extra damage. Yoshi Paper Mario is fun. Never played it. You saw the Porion? What Porion? Potion? Orion? God of the Stars? Wait, we can't hit him with a hammer, though, right? So this is useless. Oh, I guess he floats low enough to get the first strike on. No, not jump, not jump, not. Hammer. supposed to go. Oh, cool. Got a mushroom. Nice. This block's already been hit. You can hit all you want, but nothing else will happen. Oh, shit. I did not get the hammer off. Yeah, it looks like hammer only goes on the first opponent. Probably like melees only can hit the first opponent or something. Where you like jump means you can jump over their opponents, or probably if there's projectiles you can hit various opponents as well. This is a block. If you hit it, something will pop out. I wonder what you'll get. This is the one that deals three damage to everybody. Oh shit. Can we go down here? Oh, we can. Okay, we should probably not go down there. Turns out that was a bad idea. I never played Paper Mario, no, but I played Mario RPG and its remake. And we played the shit out of the remake. Out of the remake. Wait. It's already sub level 3. Hold up. Did we explore everything on the first floor? Let's take it. What's up? Oh, okay. So, okay. So, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Are you feeling better? So, you're having a poo poo day on Twitter. A couple days ago, I think, right? Paper Mario for 64 was like, wow? Like, wow levels of good? And this is pretty fun so far. I, this, I mean, this is very... This is very Mario RPG-like. And I think when we were playing Mario RPG, some people said, I was like, man, I hope they'll make a Mario RPG too. And they are like, oh, well, Mario... Um, Paper Mario is basically a successor to Mario RPG. And I was like, oh, really? So, I'm glad we're playing this. I'm glad you guys voted this. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Poopy week, whole week? Oh no, that's why you don't do leg day. I hope the week gets better. Fire watching you, me play Paper Mario. Basically, whatever could go wrong has gone wrong since Monday. Oh god. That's insane. Oh, okay. 
So fast. Your post truck first. Bitch. Oh shit. I don't want to tattle them. That's a spinny, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. 3 HP, 1 attack. Certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP, blah, blah, blah. Attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hiya. Tight. Tight. You guys see that pro gaming? Oh, wow, she scans the whole room. You guys see that pro reaction timing? That comes from playing high APM games like Hellblade 2, chat. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry, score. My mistake. Does a database for enemies? Oh, let me pause and see. That's the case. The bigger your crowd can be, the higher rank, the bigger your crowd can be party. Gear, items, some hidden section. Journal, maybe? Tattle log, oh yeah, yeah. Is all the enemy types? 134. Wow. I'm sure bosses aren't here right now. Where are the ones we scanned already? I see Gus. Oh, there we go. Spinia. Cool. Fortune told. Oh, that's cool. They do an overhitting. Star pieces, 5%. Star sprites. Or shine sprites. Zero. I actually quite dig the aesthetic in this game. It's very neat. This is a big yellow block. <laughs> it looks too sturdy to break with your current hammer. But you find a more powerful hammer. I guess, I guess there is some kind of gear, yeah. Right so fast. He too has probably played Hellblade too. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, you don't need to scan again once you've done it once on that type. That's nice. Nice QOL. I need reactions. I'm nailing all these guards. What are you on about? It's perfect. Finally home, thanks for the chill day. NP. Anytime. Well, it was a stylish thing. Except for Saturday, Sunday this week. That's me time. Can you measure that game in APM? Isn't it APH? Actions per hour? Oh, and Helbly. Actions per day, dude. There's a key up there. That's, a ju that's just a normal search. Stomp on it or whack it to flip it. Yeah, the whole, like, clever paper thing. It looks like there's a hidden door here. Oh, we got this. Okay. 